Poetry book requires a lot more context than the different symbols I make. But yeah, you have like Achilles, the wolf in the man. So when I read the book, I can be like, yeah, no. It's hot. But you're running the cool list out on the building so far. Mm -hmm. I'm thriving. Yeah. I was outside running around. They gave me this Yeah, they gave me this uh, additional ball. Uh, oh, you didn't know what there? They gave me this one. And they were like, why is that free? I was like, I moved all my stuff home. Oh. It was wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Crazy. What happened? Um, yeah. Wait, let me, let me grab a card. Please. I have so many. Take a card. I've been taking a lot. <laughs> Hello everyone, Paul Braswell here with Archer Chad and Chew Baby and listen, I'm here, well I actually am a native of Baltimore, but baby, guess what? Guess what Charm City is featuring today? Art War from an Ivy League art school, Micah, Maryland Institute College of Art. And guess what y'all, guess what? We have a graduate, 2023 graduate here and he's going to introduce his son. Introduce himself. Wait a minute, y'all, before we get started. When, wait a minute, I got to show you this first. When I saw this coming through the door, I gagged here. I gagged. And it wasn't because I had pizza or cheeseburger in my mouth. But I gagged when I saw this. And this is the artist here. He's going to tell us who he is. And tell us your inspiration behind what you create. First of all, who are you? Hi, my name is Robert Wesley. I'm a graduate of MICA. Um, yeah. Tell us about your work. I create work about my identity as a queer, black, autistic man. Let's give you a hand. I wish I had my bell. Y'all know I don't have my bell because I surely would ring it. But anyway, let me give it a ding, 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 ding. Okay. Great. So I do a lot of work related to symbolisms and different archetypes of characters in the style of Romare Bugle. And oh. exploring that in a modern context. Now, FYI, speaking of Romare Bearden, I don't know if you're familiar with here in Baltimore, the iconic newspaper, African American newspaper. Oh, uh, FYI, Romare Bearden was one of their printmakers yes. back then. Yep, for the African American newspaper, which was legendary during that time. And actually, they have their office here. Look, I'm getting off the subject, because this is about artist Robert Wesley, I'm a baby. So, uh, what medium do you use to create what you create? And explain this, this image here. All of my works are watercolor and then bits of other things, anything that I find helpful, but it's all watercolor on touch paper. Oh, what kind of... Hi, Clarissa, wait a minute. Oh, you have someone watching. This is artist Robert Wesley. He's a graduate of MICA. Yes. And the day is their artist walk. What time is it over with? It ends 8 today. Is it two days or one? It's open until Monday, until uh, 10 to 5. Are the artists going to be here also? Some will, some will not. Oh. Well, you know what, because I have to make sure I bring my battery. Clarissa, I was not prepared for this. So, uh, wave to Clarissa Spears. She says hello. hello. And we're, uh, what is this book up here that you created? Um, I created a book of poems that are related to the works that I create. And the poems give a lot more context to the different works that I create. Oh, and how, oh, she said you heart. Uh, <laughs> he's emotional, don't like me, but I'm over the top. You know, I'll start crying in a minute. And I don't have any tissue. But anyway, oh, battery from Las Vegas. Oh, she says congrats. She said you congratulations. Thank Wait a minute. This is your artist graduating from the Ivy League, Micah. Exactly. Yes. And uh, wait a minute. Oh, oh my God. I'm getting, I'm, ready. I'm getting speechless. Valerie know me. She knows I'm over the top. Oh, look at she loves. <laughs> she said the hearts and everything about you. This young man. Oh God. Uh, and so, oh my Lord. So, uh, how do you want your art to affect the community here? Um, I think a lot of my art is just about creating space for people like me and people with similar experiences and exploring that in different avenues. Okay, and how has your art enhanced you and your mental health and wellness? Um, I find it to be very therapeutic to be able to talk about my experiences in a way that's not always as direct as like more like therapy and different things like that. I'm able to portray my experiences and talk about things without necessarily saying all of the words. Oh, and somebody say, bring them on camera. Bring who on camera? Uh, Clarissa, you want me to bring who on camera? 
Uh, Artist Wesley, show us the piece behind here that you created on this oh. other wall. Watch your baby, look at this. Wait a minute, I'm about to into this door. Baby, I almost passed out. But I look at the watch this. Bam, baby, look. Look at that. Is that truly amazing? This piece is uh, okay. entitled Rise of the Monarch. Okay, what's the title again? Rise of the Monarch. And oh. it's um, a reference to a mythology series I really like. But it's talking about how um, I feel that through queer identity, I've had sort of a rebirth and kind of a growth. Right. And um, Valerie is sending you hearts. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. And this image here, can you ex So are these two separate types of inspiration, themes, or. Okay, let's start with the top one then. Um, this is what. It's a fairy, obviously. Um, it's, oh, it's a what? It's a fairy. Get out! And it's based on a lot of different uh, mythologies uh -huh. and things like that in order to create my own sort of my own version of the mythological fairy. Get out! And uh, this piece here? This piece is more based in reality and in my skin and in specifically a lot of the portrayals of black men that you see as kind of broken. And it was talking about kind of rebirthing out of that and color and how I feel as my current self. Now, let me ask you, does these two images have a title? Rise of the Monarch. This is, is it together as yes. Rise of the Mark? One piece. Okay. Rise of the Mark. And this piece here, the title of this, does this uh, have a title also? Yes, this piece is entitled, it's the one that's on the wall. Oh, let me show you, okay. The road home yearns endlessly for the child you once were and the ones you never got to be is the title of the piece. Oh. Let me see the. You're getting so many hearts. Thank you. If you're interested in my writing, um, I also am a writer and I have a lot of things available. I have uh, books available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. If you look for them. Okay, now tell us about this book. Um, so can you book, hold a copy of it so we can here. see the audience? This is the book I wrote for my thesis. It's entitled The Road Home. Um, it has a lot of poems that are related to my identity and exploring that and the different symbols that I include in my paintings and giving context to them. The Road Home. The road How, home. What inspired you to write that, create that title? Um, I've, in writing the book and kind of compiling all of the poems, I found a very um, apparent thematic to be nostalgia and exploring nostalgia. Um, You're getting wows and oh my god! So um, I thought the road home and the different ways that we connect back to who we once were were very was a very interesting way of portraying the book. And you said the book it has poems in it, or yes, it is a book of poetry. How about a short one? Fine. Can you find a short one to share, or a piece, or something? Uh, Your debut, uh, Robert Wesley's debut, baby. Poem reading. Or oh, just pick anyone. There are a lot of really long. <laughs> okay, you can start with something. Okay, now listen very carefully. Uh, artist Robert Wesley is about to share with you his inspiration. What you know what, which comes from the blood that circulates and throughout his good heart to keep him alive and well and to become a graduate 2023 of Michael. Begin, Artist Wesley. Um, this poem is entitled Solace. In a world of thorn and rose, I am nothing but bird and bone. Yet you graze my yellowed soul and make me feel I've made a poem. In your skin I find refuse, in your mouth I find solace, in your heart I find warmth, in your soul I find arms. May they hold me for eternity. Thank you so very, very much. My God, he is phenomenal.